Okay, here we go. Um, what we have here is the next model I'm going to get started on. As I stated before, I'm going to be doing a second Enterprise E. And here it is all laid out on the table. Um, out of the box and of course with this model because like I said I want to do it after Nemesis so I got the parts thank goodness for income tax uh, got the parts and got them laid out here I was just going to point out a couple of differences and, um, and then of course uh, afterwards a uh, little bit go ahead and get started on getting this kit built um, of course you got your saucer section all laid out um, and because I'm doing Nemesis um, go ahead and you know point out this portion back here next to the uh, impulse engines well we have this part right here behind the saucer section you see it has these raised areas because on nemesis of course you know the uh, model was the connection between the saucer and the engineering hole was more streamlined so, uh, you know, when you're putting that in there, uh, of course it, it doesn't fit. So you've got some uh, chopping to do. So, yeah, that port, you know, will fit right up in there. Got this right here, Nemesis Conversion Kit from StarCraft Models on the website FederationModels.com. And it's nice. It's really crisp and clean all of the lines now this isn't styrene uh, I'm not exactly sure what it is but I just note in the directions they stated you know when gluing these pieces onto your regular model you need to use something else like super glue rather than your regular model uh, your regular model glue so okay that's cool um, the pylons have them laid out here right next to the original ones um, these right here are they are taller you know whenever they're attached to the engineering hole the angle is sharper and of course they're built correctly for Nemesis they have the additional phaser strips and also before the uh, pylon actually slants up these up towards the nacelle it does go out you know it goes out straight from the hole and then goes up to the nacelle so nice now these you can tell on this one right here um, is a part right here so that you can run channel for your wiring and then you will cut a channel in the back of you know in the front of these piece here and then it will you know just slide right in there and of course you holes down here in the top and have your wiring go so that you can get those beautiful nice long nacelles lit and uh, here in the bag have the other two portions it's the additional photon torpedo launchers the one that goes in the uh, right above the fantail on the back of the engineering hull and then the uh, double launcher that goes located right there so get those puppies attached on there of course the one above the fantail um, there's a little bit of work that has to be done on that in order to um, get that portion in. So the other piece is different is the ring tunnel that heads down into the deflector dish. This is the one that of course is supplied with the kit. It's round. Straight out round. Now the only the only version of the Enterprise E that I've seen where it's round was the concept whenever before first contact ever came out. I believe the channel was rounded back when you see the pictures of the deflector when it was blue. And of course they went through and changed that. And made the top portion of it flat and then the rounded portions come from there. Uh, so this is the you know part of the conversion kit. The detailing on the captain's yacht area as well as the quantum torpedo launcher uh, much more clear, crisp clean and more accurate so you know oh joy oh joy getting this 
uh, conversion kit, $35 again Star, uh, from StarCraft Models, ordered it on FederationModels.com. When I got it, they had just got only two in available. I don't know if there's another one on there, but if you're looking to do the conversion, I'd, I'd leap on it and you can also email them, contact them and see when they're going to be getting another one. Um, back to the actual um, parts though. Since this portion, rounded, was made for the kit, on the inside of the engineering hole up there, where the navigational deflector tunnel goes, you have these little portions right here. Well, those are going to have to be cut down because this will not sit inside of that, it will not sit inside of the housing area the way it's supposed to because it's flatter up here which means it is uh, larger so have to cut that down easy fix now other stuff to have right here I just have the clear parts sitting out right there because they just look cool when they're still clear um, not painting any of those any colors I'm going to actually tint them and uh, I think it looks cool when the lights are out and that's tinted it looks so cool uh, now, the other part I got, uh, got right here, A Creation models, got the photo etch for the ship. Um, on this, uh, let me see here, I said down saw so I won't mind a bit. Um, got the impulse engines right here. You have two different versions of the shuttle bay, which is cool. And they have them marked, you know, the top one um, is for first contact with all of the numerous shuttle bay doors on there and then the bottom one is for uh, Nemesis and also for Insurrection as well. Deflector dish it goes over the actual dish itself to give you that uh, uh, parany look with all of the different uh, lines and having the orange shining through there. It's actually two parts um, very very small uh, as you can see, there's the tip of my finger and there's the inside portion of that. So tweezers will become my best friends. Um, but that'll fit right over there, over those, uh, over the uh, deflector dish itself, which we have right here. And the raised lines that's on it will actually have to be filed down as uh, per the directions to make sure everything fits right. So you have the grills for the warp nacelles on there. Those are really, really cool. Um, and you know, of course, all of this will be painted. Now, the um, for the deflector, and do that in the copper, and get that attached on there. Of course, I have the orange uh, LED coming from behind that. I have a nice, good bright light. Uh, the impulse, you know, covering the impulse engines. Loving it. So, um, you know, those will be painted black and the grills will be painted black as well. So other than that, that's about all I'm probably going to use out of this and I probably use that cover right there for the um, the shuttle bay observation area to you know cover that, paint it, of course it's black. Um, so apart from that, other portions of it we've got from again A Creation Models is the Nemesis decal set. Very cool. Because as I stated in the other video of the other, you know, with the other Enterprise E that I did, this is a complex ass paint scheme. And on a ship that's only 19 inches long, that would have been a beast and a half trying to recreate that and I really really like that look so I just went ahead and got the uh, decals to recreate that and I've uh, gone through this is really really uh, as close to accurate as you're gonna get period I've gone through and looked at the actual um, you know some actual photos from the actual CGI model that they use, they have them posted on modelermagic.com. You can go and see them on there. Just type in the search box Enterprise 1701E and it'll pop up. Um, 
and you go through and I'm looking at all the little um, all those little specs on there from all the little panel lines and so forth you know those little tchotchkes and stuff uh, a lot of them are close to accurate and some of them are just bang on accurate the way they're patterned so you know of course that's the top of the saucer that's the bottom saucer area um, and then we have our engineering hull the only thing that I don't like about it are for the pylons you know that design it's flat out not right um, but fortunately the uh, Nemesis conversion pylons grab this one right here um, actually it has it scribed on the inside of that so what I'm probably just going to do is just paint that and that'll do it just fine for me so uh, I'm going to go that route with that so I won't be using that um, won't be using those but other than that everything else bang on straight really loving that for the deflector housing and then over here we have for the warp nacelles themselves and that looks good now the directions say you know a light ghost gray to a medium ghost gray for the um, overall color of the ship before applying them I'm going with white I mean I'm going with white I like the look I found a uh, you know looking at these online and the paper is a little bit of a light bluish so it looks a little weird on that but when you look at it on the computer screen with the white behind it I love that look it looks crisp and clean you know nemesis was already dark the whole movie was dark the ship of course was dark battle ready and everything I mean come on the additional weaponry enough speaks uh, for itself so you know want to just give it that clear that crisp look plus Enterprise A being my favorite color, and of course she was white. I'm just kind of carrying it over because Enterprise E is my second favorite. Uh, so, um, but there you have it. All the, well, not all of them, but most of the parts laid out. What I plan on using, of course, plenty of LEDs. Make sure we got it bright enough. I'm not exactly sure as yet if I'm going to take out every window on this model. Or not I probably won't but the majority of them I probably say seven eighths of them will be removed so and there's one other small detail that's not on the model that I'll just throw on there um, not even with the conversion kit but it's you know so tiny you possibly miss it if I'm reading it right and someone correct me if I'm wrong but underneath the uh, rear shuttle bay area you know, right there in that section there's actually there was actually an additional photon launcher added down there towards the back that goes on so um now the the photo edge has the additional docking ports that go on the rear of the um, top part of the saucer section over here you know one right there one right there one right there and of course the model has them as well so um, whichever set that I use back here one part of the other set uh, probably attach back here and you know with putty and go through and uh, you know under good nice good heavy uh, magnification file that down so I'd be sure and get that last final photon launch that was added I mean this ship was you know on Nemesis was almost like it was rebuilt to kick more ass than it already was so uh, other than that I um, hope you guys you know enjoy the videos follow me along on these and I'll keep you updated as we get the build going and thanks again for watching